But if you cross our southern border illegally, none of this applies to you. That makes sense? Here with Reaction, author of now three straight weeks in a row, number one New York Times bestseller. Now, here's the interesting part of it. Mark's new book, I think it's his best, and I think it is his most timely, and his last chapter, We Choose Liberty, is maybe one of the best chapters he's ever written, and one of the most important, but it's now sold over 750,000 copies, this book. It is outsold the next top 15 to 20 books combined. That's how powerful this book is. It's also why I call him the great one, Mark Levin. Mark, you know, I'm, I'm, for, for your personal success, I'm happy. But we've got to get this country on track. I know you've got a lot to say. Congratulations on the book. Well, thank you, and we do, and that's the whole point of the book. But I can't cover it all right now, so let me just address this. Joe Biden is the most disastrous president in modern American history. I don't care if it's by design or by the fact that he's dealing with it. It doesn't much matter to me. Uh, it would be like a president when we have uh, a polio vaccine telling everybody to get vaccinated but inviting people into the country who he knows has polio. No president has ever done this to his own people. This guy is a coward. He buckles to the radical left in his party. He's a fool. The idea that people who are vaccinated are the ones who are going to be punished, it's like the gun owners who are law-abiding are the ones who are going to be punished, it's like the successful people in this country, they're the ones who intend to punish with the tax code. Is there anything going right in this country? Gasoline prices going up, food prices going up, anything going right on this country, the border wide open, you're going to have people flooding into our school districts, flooding into our hospitals, law enforcement is overwhelmed, towns are overwhelmed, and let me tell you why he's doing it, let's be blunt, he wants to turn Texas blue. He wants to turn Arizona blue. This street politician from Wilmington, Delaware, the dumbest man to ever serve in the Senate, the dumbest man to ever be vice president, is now the dumbest man to ever be president. He's got a massive ego. He's a narcissist. He wants to go down in history as the greatest president. He's going to go down in history as the greatest disaster. He's doing more to weaken this country than the communist Chinese could ever pray to do. He could ever pray to do. And moreover, he's justified a federal statute, a Supreme Court decision. He knows. To this Harvard emeritus professor, Lawrence Tribe. He's just violated the federal constitution. Now, let me say this. I brought this up on my radio show last week. Uh, Republicans, have you ever heard of the word impeachment? Are you guys going to go down to the border and whine yourselves to death? I know you're not in the majority, but you need to start explaining to the Americans.